This episode was made possible by Wix. Build your own professional website with Wix by following the link below. If you're interested in space exploration, you've probably had a conversation with someone who thinks it's a waste of time and money. Why would we go to space when we can't even take care of our current home? Why should we spend money to visit other planets when there are starving children around the world? To be fair, these are reasonable questions. In this episode, we're going to address those concerns and discuss whether space exploration is a productive way to spend our valuable resources. Let's start with the idea that money spent on space missions is money down the drain. NASA's budget for the past several years has hovered around half a percent of the total US discretionary budget, a little under $21 billion. Sounds like a lot of money. We could spend that money to build shelters or schools or something, right? Sure, but let's look at some other areas of spending that might also contribute. Consumers spent $22.8 billion on McDonald's last year, over $2 billion more than NASA gets. In 2017, in the US alone, people spent $120 billion on tobacco, mainly cigarettes. That's six times NASA's annual budget. Now, if we compare these three areas of spending, which do you think contributes more to society? What does our spending on McDonald's give us? A quick lunch and insane rates of obesity. What about tobacco? Just cancer, really. What about space missions? Nothing much. Just weather satellites, GPS, LED lighting, water purification systems, home insulation, wireless headsets, freeze-dried food, the modern smoke detector, the computer mouse, and countless other incredibly useful tools and facets of modern society that we take for granted today. Every year, NASA releases a publication called Spinoff, which catalogs civilian uses of technology developed by NASA, or in partnership with them. The list is extensive, and includes a number of technologies that greatly reduce the amount of suffering in places like Africa, where clean water is hard to come by. So, the next time someone claims that we're wasting money that could be spent on improving lives here on Earth, remind them of all the tools that have been developed as a direct result of the space industry. Even based on this one point, space exploration is objectively not a waste of money, because it contributes so much more useful technology than many other industries. As with a lot of things, people have this noble, misguided idea that we could reallocate money from some source of spending to help solve problems around the world. For example, they'll say things like, we could dig a thousand wells with that amount of money. The idea is nice, but it's naive. Do you really think if we didn't allocate half a percent of the budget to space research, it would be spent on humanitarian endeavors instead? Of course not. It would likely be tossed into the enormous defense budget to be spent on fighter jets or tomahawk missiles. This is like when you didn't finish your dinner as a kid and your mother would say, there are starving kids who would love to eat that. Well, yeah, that's true, but what exactly am I supposed to do about it? I can't exactly mail them my leftover broccoli. With space spending, it's an even more ridiculous claim because the technology we develop for space missions is directly and measurably benefiting at-risk and struggling populations around the world. So really, not spending the money on the space industry would be decidedly worse than spending it and letting the technology find civilian uses. Another big complaint some critics have is that we treat the Earth so poorly and we've done so much damage already that it should be our number one priority. We can all agree on this point. We have been poor stewards of our home planet. We have floating islands of trash in the oceans. We're speeding up climate change at an alarming rate thanks to fossil fuel use and industrial animal farming. We're already experiencing the consequences of a radically damaged global climate. And we think we'd do it better elsewhere in the universe? It's a fair point, but only on the surface. Yes, our greed and consumerism has done likely irreparable harm to the Earth, but you know how we can help? By switching to renewable energy sources like solar. And you know where we figure out the best ways to manufacture and implement super-efficient solar technology? The freezing vacuum of space. Thanks to the space industry, we're able to utilize and benefit from incredibly efficient solar arrays here on Earth, helping reduce the need for energy from fossil fuels. In the future, we could slowly move our manufacturing off the Earth and into space to further reduce our environmental impact. On a slightly unrelated note, if someone says space exploration is a waste of money because we're destroying the Earth, remind them to vote for representatives that have a strong green energy platform. If we elect politicians that respect the Earth, the situation will gradually improve, and we'll see more renewable energy replacing fossil fuels, and we'll leave the Earth a greener place for future generations, which will allow them the luxury of really applying their minds to more advanced challenges of space exploration. Another response to the idea that leaving the Earth is a waste of money is that, as far as we know, we're the only sentient life in the entire universe. If someday a massive, planet-killing asteroid comes our way, that's it. Our species, as well as every other species on Earth, is done for. What greater cause could we find than the continuation of our species? I guess you could say, if everyone is dead, then no one is suffering. But that doesn't really count. By spending the money on space missions today, we're building the groundwork for future generations to establish colonies elsewhere in the solar system, giving humanity a backup in case the Earth gets obliterated in a freak natural disaster or nuclear war. 
And finally, possibly the most honest answer to the question of why bother leaving the Earth is just because that's what we do. Humans have always explored. What's over that mountain? What's across this ocean? We overcome obstacles not because we have to, but because we want to. We have this innate drive to learn, to explore, to become the best version of ourselves. And space exploration is the natural extension of our storied history of adventure and knowing the unknown. So the next time you have a discussion with someone who thinks that space exploration is pointless, you have some answers. The technology we develop for space missions has innumerable uses here on Earth, including green energy and humanitarian tools. We spend a fraction of a percent of the annual budget on NASA and get so much more out of it than from other, vastly more expensive industries. We're paving the way to help ensure the survival of humanity both on Earth and among the stars, and it's part of our nature to boldly go where no one has gone before. Those sound like pretty good reasons to me. Going to space is difficult. You know what's not difficult? Building a professional website with Wix. With Wix, you can build amazing, professional websites for just about any application. Wix can handle any project you throw at it. Whether you want to host videos, share your photo gallery, book clients, sell products, or just about anything else you could ever want. Whether you need a professional website for your own personal use, or for e-commerce, music, hotels, or restaurants, Wix does all the heavy lifting, like hosting, custom domains, email marketing, and more, allowing you to focus on the creative side of things. You have total creative freedom over your websites, allowing for limitless possibilities. And you don't even have to be a web designer. Wix caters to everyone, regardless of skill level, whether you're a novice, business owner, or a seasoned website builder. So if you want to build your very own professional website, visit Wix by following the link below.